the James A. Haley Veterans Hospital in Tampa, Florida, in conjunction with the Black Dagger Military Hunt Club, developed a unique way to help patients with traumatic brain injury and PTSD cope with their fears. Steve Hollingshead sent us the story. Patients from the James A. Haley VA Hospital in Tampa are getting a different kind of therapy. The Black Daggers Military Hunt Club, along with Haley's adaptive sports program, gives wounded warriors an opportunity to lock and load. There's so many different ways that it's therapeutic. Uh, some of the guys that come out here, it's, it's physical. Uh, it's teaching them how to use adaptive equipment to pursue uh, an, a leisure pastime that they used to do. Uh, so it's teaching them uh, the equipment that's available out there. Uh, for other guys, it's, it's more of the mental, it's more of the PTSD that uh, we see coming back these days. So a lot of these guys, the reason they joined the military was so they could shoot guns. So they come back, they're now suffering from PTSD. They're uh, afraid to go out and do this on their own. Uh, they're afraid of loud noises. They're afraid of doing anything along those lines. So with this program, we try and, and do uh, a little bit of exposure therapy, getting them out and desensitizing them in a safe environment. Frank Torres suffered from traumatic brain injury twice from IEDs, once in 2001 in Afghanistan and a second in Iraq in 2004. He says loud noises often sends him into a panic. Even though I knew it was part of my exposure therapy, um, I was afraid. I, I still shied back. I didn't fire right away. I had to look at everybody and everything. I was scared. I was nervous and anxious. Um, then after a while, I spoke to some of the guys from Black Dagger, and they coached me slowly to grab a weapon and fire. Um, at that particular moment, I got... Uh, comfortable uh, knowing that I'm not shooting at somebody, that I'm just shooting for pleasure. He's not as jumpy around noises and when we go places he can handle a lot more than he used to be able to. Every time that I smell the gunpowder, you know, I feel, I feel relaxed, you know, I feel like uh, bring me back memory, you know, I feel, I feel a lot of confidence, you know, I feel secure. Black Daggers hold such an event once every six months. As a nonprofit organization, everything from the use of the range, ammunition, to full-scale, state-of-the-art military-grade weapons and range officers' times are all donated. Patients experience one-on-one -on -one interaction with personnel, making sure safety is priority one. We do adaptive sports shooting and adaptive sports with, uh, the, with the VA, and, and we uh, bring a lot of military people shooting and hunting. When we did shooting with the soft with the Green Beret Foundation and TAMCO, uh, one of the neat things was it was OSU, the Oklahoma State University Ultra Multi Spectral Laboratories, big word, donated some adaptive equipment for quadriplegics to actually shoot weapons. And we've recently had several uh, full quadriplegics paralyzed from the neck down shoot. Uh, one even shot a uh, and exploded a target at 150 yards with a SCAR uh, assault rifle. Uh, fourth or fifth shot, but it was the neatest thing to watch. Lieutenant Colonel Ty Edwards suffered from a gunshot wound to the head in Afghanistan in 2008. This was the first trigger time for him since his injury, which was made possible by the provided adaptive equipment. That year, four years since I fired a weapon, and uh, I, I wanted to see if I could still do, do it. I mean, I, I mean, with a brain injury, loud noises uh, startled me and uh, so I just just it took a little getting used to at first but I mean within about 10 or 15 minutes I mean I was good, good to go I mean except for positioning the weapon and stuff like that but it was uh, it was awesome. Reporting from Tampa, Florida I'm Steve Hollingshead for VA News.